Yo, what is up, guys? And um, we finally got a package here today f from Pulsar. Uh, the X2. Super clear. Now, this is, I think this was going to be the last, um, the last X2 that they release. I could be wrong. I know they're trying to push out the ES, well, not the ES, but the H and the what's it called, but, all right, this is the new packaging with the little tab. I don't really like the tab, and my box did come dented, so I'm kind of, kind of upset, but damn, dude, this looks like... This looks really good. Let's take it out. Uh, one one eight four. That's not a great number, but ooh. Why is my autofocus being funny? Ooh, wow. These are. Okay, let's remove this. Side buttons. These clicks are much different. Let me let, let me go get another X2 with the GM8s. Or the, the KL8.0s. Yeah, this is the quickest one I can find. My rotor box. Pair two, so it, it's definitely different. So it, it definitely feels much different. These are these are actually super nice. Yeah, they feel way more responsive, less pre travel. Red scroll wheel is a nice touch. The battery, you can see the battery right there. The autofocus. I need a new camera. I need a new webcam. That autofocus? No. There you go. The battery is um is painted. White PCB. <laughs> this looks actually really, really cool. Um I can't lie. There is a I don't know what encoder that is though, but it's blue, I think. Yeah, there's a blue encoder in there. You can see that blue encoder. I don't know what encoder that is. Uh, I don't really look at the specs of this. I could I could check that out real quick, actually. Let's see. Um, what is this called again? The Super Clear. Uh, looks like it is a. I know they're using blue shell pink dots and it's still a TTC Gold. Oh, I guess it's a dust cover. Okay. And let's get the weight of this. Okay, so this one is 56 grams. Okay, so that's plus or minus the difference. So that's correct. Throw this back in and throw this away. All right, so the X2, super clear. I think this looks super clean. It's like those those old retro, uh, like um, like the Game Boy, the clear Game Boys. But you know, it's not cl it's not like purple plastic. It's not purple clear or whatever. But it does look really good. And I oops, I do like the look of it a lot. Looks really good. What well, what else do we get in here? Oh man, I like the old packaging to be honest with you. I think the old packaging was a little better. I mean I guess this is more for retail. I, I know I know Pulsar said they are getting more retail stuff into like Best Buy and all that micro center. I, I think I, I don't really know, but I know they said they are getting into retail retail stores, which is good for them. Uh wait. Uh White, white thing. And what is the goodies in here? It's a white cable. Anything else? Do I get stickers? Get a pamphlet. 
little trading card. I do get stickers. Nice. And a instruction manual for in case you don't know how to use a mouse for some reason. Okay, wow, this is actually really, really nice. As usual with Pulsar stuff, the packaging is nice. Uh, I have so many cables just lying around everywhere. It's insane now. Probably do a full desk tour setup later. But I am excited to show that off. Alright, other than that, dude. Um, comparing it to... Definitely, definitely much softer. Those are the opticals. Those are the blue shell pink dots. So yeah. Um, this has been used though, so... There does seem to feel like... It's not just... Is there a coating? I don't remember there being a coating on this. Uh, there's no coating, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, there's no coating. I could be wrong. I don't really pay attention to that. If it feels good, then whatever. If it doesn't, then whatever. I'll just put it away and never use it. But yeah. Uh, I gotta say, Pulsar, this looks fucking sick. I can't deny that. That looks sick. This little red stripe on the back is a little weird. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Um, But other than that, I really like the look at this. So, really good job, Pulsar.